Palladium diselenide is a uh, metallic material in bulk form, but when we go to the two layer or one layer, then it will be behaving like a semiconductor. And this is the two selenium atoms of the palladium diselenide, and this is the two below selenium atoms of the palladium diselenide. And these selenium atoms are connecting with a PD in between, that is dumbbell-like structure of PDAC2. And this is the anisotropic structure actually. As the plane is not uh, in a in one plane, this is like stepping up it. I've been working on uh, various nanomaterials and more recently on two-dimensional uh, semiconducting materials for uh, various sensing applications. And uh, in this uh, particular work, we have actually explored one new semiconducting two-dimensional material, which is palladium diselenite, which has got very fascinating property. It changes its uh, from metallic property to semiconducting when it goes to ultra-thin layer, uh, about one angstrom thickness. And we are exploiting many other 3D material, but this particular uh, material draws our attention for its anisotropic property and uh, defects also give rise to some interesting behavior where you can see both metallic as well as semiconducting behavior in the same material. So this we have exploited in the uh, detection of ultra low concentration of toxic dyes. Uh, so using uh, standard Raman spectroscopic uh, process and this uh, technique usually people use metallic nanostructures as the substrate for enhancing the Raman signal, but we have been able to enhance the Raman signal million times by using this semiconducting uh, two-dimensional palladium diselenide substrate uh, to detect ultra-low concentration at the nanomodal level. So uh, this uh, we have also plans to exploit in many other applications uh, including uh, biosensing and gas sensing and uh, photo detector applications. Here is a micro Raman spectroscopy setup. Uh, this is a commercial setup which we have used for our research. And uh, Raman spectrometers are, are very uh, useful for various kind of applications. And uh, usually the Raman signal is very weak, so we cannot detect extremely low concentration of analytes. In this case, we have actually uh, detected ultra low concentration of toxic dyes, which are harmful for uh, chemical, which are produced by the industry. And uh, here you see uh, this is a microscope part, and this whole big system is actually a Raman spectrometer, which can give you uh, some signal for particular molecule. There will be certain peaks and that are characteristic of that molecule. In this case, we have uh, usually Raman signal is very weak. So one technique which has been used for about last 20 years is called surface enhanced Raman spectroscopy where people use metallic nanostructures as a substrate and on that they put the analyte to detect Raman signal, measurable signal. But uh, usually this Metals are noble metals and they are expensive and they have also like stability issues, uh, biocompatibility. Uh, so people are looking for alternatives for this surface enhanced Raman spectroscopy substrate. So in the research for alternatives, we have found one interesting new semiconducting material which is ultra thin palladium diselenide and we have engineered the material to act as a very good such substrate and using this we have been able to detect various kind of toxic dyes at ultra low concentration at the nanomolar level.